Hey there, Andy Slowetsky here. I am joined today by Todd Croto from All Covered. All Covered is a, a Konica Minolta company. Todd's located in Massachusetts today. How are you, Todd? Hi, Andy. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for giving me an excuse to put on a dress shirt. There you go. <laughs> You're fully dressed right now. We're not going to ask, but uh, yeah. uh, I'm good up here in Rochester, Western New York. We're, uh, we're hanging in there. We're getting through this. And uh, uh, you guys are a, a, a critical uh, piece of, uh, of the types of companies that are out there keeping the hospitals running. And why don't you tell us a little bit what All Cover does and who you guys are? Yeah, so like you said, we're the IT services division of Konica Minolta. We were acquired a little over 10 years ago, or 10 years ago almost. And uh, all types of IT services, all types of customers, big, small. Um, most of our customers are... Uh, not in the industries that were affected most by the the hard shutdowns that have happened, right? So we don't have a lot of retail, a lot of restaurants or or something like that. Most of us are professional service organizations or healthcare uh, organizations as well. So um, we still a bit, you know, still lots of work to do for our customers. Uh, not impacted as much as as you and I were talking about in terms of print, um, and just a mad scramble when it, when all this first happened, and now it's sort of settling down to. The normal uh, volumes of support. So um, great, great overview of, of All Covered and what you guys do. Just to, to take a step back, probably should ask this before that, you know, how's the All Covered team? How are your people? I know you're, uh, you're located all over the place. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm very friendly with a lot of your people, Drew and Mike and Jenna and your whole team. Yeah. Is, yep. you're, you're everywhere. So uh, how has it been, how has it been managing these guys? I know you have the technology to uh, set up customers for remote work, but now you're kind of eating your own uh, dog food, so to speak. And so, uh, you know, what's it been like managing this and, and how is the all cover team? How are your people all hanging in there and how, how's everyone doing? Great, uh, great question. So this last Friday was my 20th year anniversary uh, with, with all covered. And um, I have to say uh, in all honesty, I couldn't be more proud of the employees and how they responded to this situation. I mean, it's a lot of stress for everyone, uh, but no one ever took their eye off of taking care of customers. The biggest things we had to do is we have some very large call centers that had to, everyone had to go uh, home to work and we had practiced that thankfully, and that's gone very well. We also have a lot of field engineers and field employees, as you said, in most cities that also had to work from home. And so some rapid retooling, but all of that happened within a few days. And uh, we, were, we were up 50% call volumes, and we were able to handle that volume from our customers. And, and now we're sort of benefited from this in the sense that everyone sort of learned how to do more remotely, probably more efficiently than driving around all the time. So Konica Minolta, um, you, you guys uh, in the all program, you, you, your portion of uh, the organization, you support companies, uh, you support customers in two different ways. Uh, one is you do support end users directly. And then the other is you support the Konica Minolta branches and the dealer community. So what's it like? Uh, you, you mentioned your call volumes up 50%. Uh, what are you doing out there in, in, in the frontline responders, uh, you know, healthcare? What are you doing for these guys? Uh, anything that you'd like to talk about with the dealers specifically and, and how are you helping them? Are there um, things that you're doing to kind of help, you, you know, help them support their customers in, in critical areas as well as, uh, you know, maybe special terms, special programs that you're coming up with. Uh, anything you could share with us? Yeah, sure. So a couple things. On the employee side, we just try to make sure everyone has the most amount of safety possible, right? And so getting, getting them the appropriate uh, PPE or, you know, personal protective equipment. Uh, we do have employees at hospitals, both on the direct side and on the all covered side. So make sure they have the right masks and gloves and everything that we can get them. <clears throat> um, the, for the dealers, we've done a couple things, right? So in conjunction with uh, Laura Blackmore, right, we've done some sales training for the dealer community in terms of how to sell remotely, right? How to do a, a good uh, appointment over video with a customer, right? And so that was done. We're shifting some of the technical training with Jim and Gracias group to be virtual, right? Uh, you know, because people don't want to travel right now. So how to do a virtual training of a machine or a technology. Um, we've got some offerings with Google, our new partnership with Google. So uh, with certain machines, you can get a Pixel Book and some uh, G Suite, right, as we build out that partnership. Um, for our voice offering, which is our, one of our fastest growing areas, we put in place a month to month offering, no, no contract term uh, for the end customers. And we can turn that up within like 24 hours, right? It's just a soft phone 
And so it, I think a lot of people, a lot of businesses didn't plan on inside of, you know, very, you know, 48 hours having everyone be remote. And so cell phones are probably not the most efficient way to support customers or, you know, talk internally. So we've been uh, doing a couple of webinars on that platform, some campaigning on that platform. And then last but not least, we have a couple offerings coming on our cloud offerings for free first month to just encourage people to uh, get on the platform as well. So. so it sounds like you guys have quite a bit going on over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, it, listen, you know, you, you, I mentioned it was about 20 years. And so you coach and you train and you try to build culture and you try to do all these things like a parent would do with kids. And you hope when it matters, it matters. And I, like I said, I just, the, the, the creativity, the uh, ingenuity, the grit was just really impressive, right? Um, how many locations are, are you guys operating out of? How many, um, I know you, you mentioned you're in almost 30, 30 different cities. Yeah. Yep. 30 different cities. Yep. And so we, you know, we, communication is key. So we put in, uh, I have a daily huddle with my executive team, right? And they have daily huddles with their teams just to keep the tempo up, right? And we, we look at uh, uh, what we call hyper awareness. So just having extra level of attention to detail around uh, which customers are stressed or not stressed, which employees are stressed or not stressed. Uh, we have this report we look at, what happened yesterday, right? What sales appointments did we have? What conversations advanced? Uh, did anyone um, test positive, right? So we're aware of that. So just an elevated uh, up-tempo, you know, right now, because I think that helps with being home and helps in terms of feeling like you're part of a team. Yep. Yeah, well, you've got to keep up with everybody, and that, that's critical. And right. Guys, um, we're well positioned to be able to stay on top of that, but uh, you know, it must be a little bit uh, self-satisfying in some ways to see that this technology that you've been selling and pitching for so many years is actually working exactly the way you you intended it to work. So, uh, congratulations to that. Account. Yeah, it, it is, and it's, it's you know, I know on the print side, it's tough right now, right? If uh, people are in offices and and uh, no one's printing, then that's a big impact on service revenue. On our side, there's still lots of opportunities, right? There's lots of different ways to have conversations with customers. Uh, security is a big issue, right? A bunch of people working at home now on equipment that wasn't intended for home use, home business use, right? Yeah. So there's a lot more phishing happening. You've heard about Zoom bombing. You've heard about these different threats that are out there, right? So what can we do from a end user training perspective for customers? Um, it's just, you got to be gritty. You got to, you got to, you know, I told the team, I said, just call every customer and say, how are you doing? What's your biggest challenge? And how can we help? Right. And that's it. Start with the customer and then, and then, you know, uh, be creative from that point forward. That's excellent advice. So um, I'm sure you've got a ton to do right now. I, re I greatly appreciate you spending some time with me today. Uh, any last words, anything you'd like to tell the listeners, the viewers uh, at this point from here forward? Well, I appreciate that. A um, couple of things. First off, I did uh, bring a couple of props for you, right? So I, uh, I have my uh, Harry Potter scarf that you remember, right? Oh, right. And uh, so I got a scarf, and I got a double board, double board, double more um, wand too, authentic one, right? So I thought you'd appreciate that. Um, so the big thing, there you go. I love it. There we go, Harry Potter. <clears throat> um, listen, if you're a leader uh, or manager. Now is a great time to lead your people, motivate your people. People want to be led. They want to be comforted. They want to be inspired. They want to be, what should I focus on? And so it's a great opportunity. My message to people has been focused on what you can control, right? And you can control your attitude every day. You can control how creative you are. You can control uh, the hyper-awareness activities we talked about, right? Being really aware of what's happening. Where can you bring value? What's the most important thing I could get done today? So it's more fun to lead in these times than it is everything's you know, steady Eddie, right? I mean, there's a good time to, and then get your people involved, give them challenges, give them uh, pet projects, right? Uh, keep them focused. And this will be over before we know it. Yeah, great advice. Great advice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Todd. Uh, we will talk soon. I'll follow up with you in a little bit and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, say hi to all my friends out there. You too. Stay safe. Thank you again. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.